dear student we are continuing the same point of the previous lecture which is the resolving power of an optical instrument resolving power of an optical instrument is defined as it is the small visual angle between the two point object at which they can be separated is called as a limit of resolution of an optical instrument and the reciprocal of re limit of resolution is called as a resolving power of an optical instrument let us define what do you mean by the resolving power of a microscope optical instrument cha apan example sangu shakto microscope telescope and eye is uh, again a examples of an optical instrument now we have to define the resolving power of a microscope it is defined as it is the small visual angle between the two point object that can be separated by a microscope is called as a limit of resolution of a microscope and the reciprocal of limit of resolution is called as a resolving power of a microscope it is denoted by letter r okay let us consider this ray diagram in the case of a microscope what happen the diffraction pattern of the two point object consists of a central bright disk surrounded by the concentrating rings called as a iris disk and the rings this theory was given by the scientist abe abe was the first scientist to explain it and apply to the front hopper diffraction what is the abe theory this is the concentrating rings this is the bright disk सेंट्रल डिस्क दिसते तुम्हाला तिला म्हणायचं सेंट्रल ब्राइट डिस्क अँड दिस इज द सराउंडिंग रिंग्स इट इज कॉल्ड एज ए आयरी रिंग्स और डिस्क ओके अगेन देयर इज ए सेंट्रल ब्राइट डिस्क अगेन देयर इज ए आयरी रिंग्स आणि दिस थिरी was given by the scientist abe and this abe was the first scientist to apply it and it is apply to the front hopper diffractions okay let us consider this ray diagram in this ray diagram what is the o and o dash o and o dash are the two point object separated by a distance a okay then ab is nothing but a objective of the lens this ab is the objective of the lens this is twice alpha twice alpha is nothing but a it is the angular separation between the object and the objective that angle is the twice alpha okay then lambda is the wavelength of light in air lambda n is the wavelength of light in medium because here is the medium okay n we consider that n is the refractive index of the medium between object and the object okay then here we get r and i dash i and i dash is nothing but a central maxima of the diffraction pattern okay it is uh, again this diffraction pattern consists of the iris rings and the disks according to the scientists Uh, ray lights the first dark ring due to the o dash coincide with an r and that of o will coincide with an r dash and the nature of the illumination depends upon the path difference okay path difference is equal to the given by the equation twice a sin of alpha therefore lambda n is equal to the twice a into sin of alpha lambda n is nothing but a wavelength of light in medium okay therefore lambda n is equal to the 
twice a into the sin alpha. Let n is equal to the lambda upon lambda n. Therefore, lambda n is equal to the s. Lambda n is equal to the lambda upon n. Therefore, lambda n is equal to 2a sin of alpha is equal to the lambda upon n. From this, we get the equation of a. A is equal to the lambda upon twice n into the sin of alpha. Okay. Therefore, a is equal to the lambda as it is, and this n sin alpha it is called as a numerical aperture given by the equation or given by the letter n a. Therefore, lambda is equal to the two into n a. This is the distance between the two objects. This is called as a limit of resolution. Therefore, a is equal to the lambda upon two n a. This is the equation for limit of resolution. Take the reciprocal of a. Therefore, r is equal to the one upon a, and therefore r is equal to the twice n a upon lambda. This is the equation of resolving power of a microscope. If the two objects are the self, sorry, if the two objects are the non-luminous, non-luminous means they not shining. If the objects are still, the tension resolving power he yeah equation he delivers. And if the two objects are the self-luminous, then again the diffraction pattern consists of the central bright disk surrounded by the iris rings. Okay, in that case. In that case, the diffraction pattern is the same as that of the previous case. And in that case, what is the part difference? Part difference is equal to the 1.22 into lambda n. Therefore, equal to these two equation, we get 2a sine of alpha is equal to the 1.22 lambda n. Okay. Therefore, a is equal to the one point twenty two lambda n upon s two sine of alpha. Therefore, a is equal to the one point twenty two upon two is point sixty one. Okay, lambda n is equal to upon this part of two kilojoule. What is the lambda? Is? n is equal to the lambda upon lambda n and therefore lambda n is equal to the lambda upon n into 2 as it is into the sin of alpha okay and therefore we get a is equal to the point sorry 2 ne na dikha karan apan 2 ne divide kelela ahe therefore point 61 lambda upon n sin alpha what is n sin alpha it is the n a therefore we get this equation a is equal to the point sixty one lambda upon the n a this is the limit of resolution of a microscope in the case of if the two objects are the self luminous and if we calculate the resolving power then resolving power becomes the reciprocal of the limit of resolution therefore r is equal to again one upon a kara you get the na upon 0.61 lambda therefore in both the cases if the point objects are the non luminous and the point objects are the luminous the resolving power of a microscope depends upon the numerical aperture as well as the wavelength of light okay now the resolving power of telescope resolving power of a telescope it is defined as the reciprocal of the least angular separation between the two object that can be resolved by a telescope is called as a resolving power of a telescope because you know that the telescope is used is used to see the distance object for example stars and stars are the 
self luminous object sahi and therefore its diffraction pattern consists of the iris disc and the iris rings according to the abbey theory okay let us see this ray diagram in this ray diagram what is ab ab is the objective of the lens okay here the objects are not shown in the diagram because it is at a distance object डिस्टन्स ऑब्जेक्ट असल्यामुळं आपण काय म्हटलेलं आहे तर अँग्युलर सेपरेशन बिटवीन दॅट ऑब्जेक्ट म्हटलेलं आहे ओके इथं आपण ऑब्जेक्ट दाखवलेलं आहे आणि थिटा इज नथिंग बट ए अँगल बिटवीन दॅट ऑब्जेक्ट अँड द ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह लेन्स अँड हिअर वी गेट द टू इमेजेस आय डॅश अँड आय दिस आय डॅश अँड आय रिप्रेझेंट द सेंटर मॅक्झिमा of the diffraction pattern due to the two objects okay therefore the part difference between the two extreme rays which is that b i dash minus a i this is b r dash minus a i dash is equal to the 1.22 lambda we get this part difference equation he directly it's 1.22 lambda and it is equal to the d into theta therefore we get the equation d into theta is equal to the 1.22 lambda where theta is nothing but a angular separation between the two point objects okay therefore what is the value of theta theta is equal to the 1.22 lambda upon d where d is nothing but a objective of the lens to a direct modular of the cell aperture of the lens to a diameter of the lens this is the value of theta okay then if you calculate the theta means angular separation between the two point object we have to calculate the r what is r r is equal to the reciprocal of theta therefore r is equal to the d upon 1.22 lambda therefore we get here the equation of resolving power of a telescope resolving power of a telescope depends upon the d means diameter of the object to and also it depends upon the wavelength of the light if we have to increase the resolving power of the telescope the value of d should be large means the diameter of the that object to lens should be the large but in practice it is not possible okay practice madhe jar apan large diameter cha jar lens ghetla kiwa disc ghetli tar tika apnare support la aplyala avghad jalar heavy the material material hunari in that case we have to use the arrays of antenna and this is used in the gmrt g for giant m for meter and r for radio and t for the telescope gmrt it is located at naranga near the pune district okay that village is the thing but a khodad village that village it is 12 km ahe naranga pasun tithe ya radio telescope ha basvilela ahe which is used for the milky way and the to see the observations of the galaxies in that campus there the, that campus is the 25 km campus and in that campus there are the 13 dishes 30 dishes are and each dish has a diameter of a 45 meter pratyek dish ka jo diameter hai to 45 meter cha hai mhanje sangaycha tatparya ka hai tar jar aplyala resolving power telescope ji vadvayche asel तर आपल्याला डी हा लार्ज पाहिजे असतो परंतु डी आपण लार्ज घेऊन चालत नाही आणि म्हणून अरेज ऑफ अँटेना ही तिथं सिच्युएशन वापरली जाते ओके दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द चॅप्टर वेव ऑप्टिक्स देअर फॉर चॅप्टर वेव ऑप्टिक्स इज ओव्हर इफ यू हॅव एनी डिफिकल्टीज रिलेटेड टू द टॉपिक सिलेबस अँड प्रॉब्लेम्स देन यू कॅन कॉल मी और मेसेज मी ऑन माय मोबाईल नंबर ओके so see all the videos and subscribe it